This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath and into the Judgment Zone. Twitch chat, and I judge this to be a rainy day game. So, welcome back to Tiberium Gardens 8 for another 4v4. It is probably going to be more madness followed by chaos and mayhem. Let's start with our northern team. We'll go around like a clock. As the green screen, this is Sparta. As the purple Reaper 17, this is your horse. You can't take him home, but he does appreciate apples if you'd bring him to the stable. As the pink screen, this is Mr. Junkie. And rounding out our first team, our first four players, as the blue black hand, this is Yusuf. Making up team number two on the south side of the map, this is Cyberphobic. He's red, he's marked of Kane. We're going to be looking to him for some big EMPs. As the orange nod, this is Zanuck. As the Cyan Scrin, give it up for Sir Johns. He's been knighted, and he is ready to fight. Our eighth player, coming all the way around the clock as the yellow GDI. This is Judge Power. This is a 4v4, and the map version, or the patch version, is R18. So this is a little bit older, but it is still relatively recent it's just not the newest version of the community patch r19 a 4v4 we've got screen we've got reaper black hand gdi marked of kane and nod a nice split of factions all across the board and cyberphobic is starting with the early aggression he's gonna get a harvester kill yusuf opens up with a limited economy that was, a, that was a blue Tiberium Harvester, pretty full of cash as well. And these bikes are not stopping. One bike does finally go down, but if he commits to it, he can probably get another kill, and he does. Two Harvesters down. Yusuf's economy is slashed. Slash and burn, says Cyberphobic. He is hoping that action does not stop killing two Harvesters, especially one of them being a blue Tiberium full of blue tib harvester everybody dropping cranes in their allies bases hoping that they will be safer under the guise of someone else's protection or dropping an airfield in your allies base instead of in your base where you think it might be a little bit more dangerous a little bit more danger in a little bit more danger is what i meant to say Expansions are starting to come out. Double airfield in your ally's base from Judge Power. I don't know if he's uh, got a crane in his ally's base as well, but he does have two airfields spread around the map. Orca Strike coming in as well. A couple of Scorpions going to be denying the scouting squads on the right side of the map. And I mean, I don't always advocate for growth accelerators, but... On a blue Tiberium field in your own base, that actually does seem like a good thing to have. Honestly, you could probably drop them on all of your allies' tip fields as well. That just seems like a kind thing to do. Get that blue Tiberium growing a little bit faster. I mean, even if the growth accelerators get taken out, they are almost certainly going to pay for themselves over the course of this game. Unless all four of them get taken out, they just get immediately sniped. Tip spikes in the middle of the map. One of them has been captured by Zaneki. Uh, and this is an expansion? <laughs> what? Who threw an outpost into the middle? It's either orange or yellow. I guess Zaneki is uh, orange and he's Nod, so it couldn't be him. But yeah, Judge Power has an expansion in the middle of the map. And Sir John's also has a buzzer high or a buzzer scout squad there. Scorpion tanks coming in here for Cyberphobic, so he really is keeping up the aggression here. Yusuf, this black hand player, is going to need a little bit of help to stand up against Cyberphobic. Two Scorpion tanks come out for Yusuf, a third one, but really the saving grace is Mr. Junkie. He comes in here and he just saves the bacon of Yusuf. And I mean, hey, 
in a 4v4. You don't want to be in a 3v4. So helping out your ally, even if it's not the best thing to do, uh, you know, it's still a good thing to do. I don't know about Firehawk bombing Reaper tripods. That doesn't seem like the best use of resources. Bombing a war factory, I can agree with. Shutting down frontline production of your opponents, I can agree with. But the rest of it, I'm not so sure about. And wow, that Descent Squad going heroic already. I mean, we talked about in another game that uh, it's much more common to get heroic units in 4v4s and in team games than in 1v1s, but that was an extremely fast heroic status for that Descent Squad. One Engineer does get sniped. No Tib Spike, no Husk capture for that Engineer. Cyberphobic is going to be restarting his aggression on the right side of the map. He's got Mark Kane Scorpion tanks, so uh, they've got Dozer Blades, but they will never have laser capacitors. They're kind of already topped out on the resource front, and wow, Sir John's with a very fast Rift Generator in this game. We're only a couple of minutes into it, but he already has a Rift Gen online. Sparta deploys a Warp Chasm right to the front line as well, and this game is going a little bit crazy with Stealth Tanks sneaking past Scorpion Tanks on the right side of the map. Eradicator Hexapods and Epic Units being birthed as super weapons get built just mere moments into this game. Stealth tanks, they get a little upgrade. They've got Tib Core missiles. They are hunting harvesters, and they have gone unnoticed into the back line as a Tiberium Meteor gets dropped onto the left side of the map. And that's going to be some extra Tiberium that someone can harvest. Vein Detonation gets called in. Scorpion tanks get weakened, and the defense is costly, but it is good for Yusuf. Harvesters getting sniped. One Harvester down for sure. A second Harvester, a little bit of splash damage there on those missiles. A Black Hand player lacking that stealth can have trouble against those stealth tanks at times. Judge Power comes, returns home with a bunch of Firehawks. And this MCV, this is not uh, your horse's only MCV, but it is about to get deleted because this is a lot of Juggernauts, a lot of Obelisks, a lot of Sonic Emitters, and even and Marv as well, all on the front line. Uh, that Warp Chasm just got deleted. Team in the south seems to be owning on the left side of the map. We'll see if the team in the north can find some damage and find a win on the right side of the map because on the left side, it seems like they are getting slapped around. Lightning Spike gets deployed. Stealth Tanks are here, and they're going to try and escape into the corner of the map. They're going to get another Harvester, but one Stealth Tank gets eliminated. So sad. Uh, Catalyst Missile gets three refineries. A massive hit. That's another thing about team games is sometimes they lack the space. As an obelisk gets deployed, a Catalyst Missile gets called in. Two refineries get wasted, but they are green Tiberium refineries. They're not quite as valuable in this particular game as those blue Tiberium refineries or getting three or four on the front lines. Juggernauts from the team in the south, they were making quick progress, but it has slowed down Sparta, building, I think, his third Warp Chasm without ever having actually built. Uh, what is this Mastermind doing? He gets the Warp Chasm! Resets the timer on that Eradicator Hexapod for, I think, the third time. Sparta just wants an Eradicator Hexapod to play with, and he just cannot get it out. He just keeps building Warp Chasms, and they keep getting denied again and again and again. Engineers running for the hills, as this is a massive amount of Reaper tripods from your horse. So many Reaper tripods trying to go deep into enemy territory, but it will be stopped. The brakes get put on that aggression. Yusuf is uh, trying to push back against Cyberphobic as another Redeemer comes out onto the map. Massive damage is going to be the name of the game for this match. Can the Eradicator Hexpod finally be birthed for Sparta? The Juggernauts have, oh my gosh, <laughs> for I think the fourth time. That Eradicator Hexapod gets denied. On top of that, a Stasis Shield comes in. I think that was a defensive Stasis Shield 
moments too late. He was trying to save it and it just didn't work. Cyberphobic now with the Redeemer marching on forward. It is stealthed as well. So he's trying to keep it hidden. Rage Gen fires off. Rockets and Scorpions going to be killing each other. Spectres firing off some friendly fire shots. And two and a half Scorpion tanks pay the price. One Scorpion tank almost dead, but still alive. Okay, your horse has put up a massive tripod army. This guy has consumed a huge amount of Tiberium, and he has an overwhelming amount of tripods. All right, where's the shockwave artillery? Where are the EMPs to land? This is a lot of tripods. They're going to be able to chew through that Marv, chew through an Eradicator Hexapod, chew through an MCV. They're getting whittled away. One EMP lands. Big splash damage. And this is now a lot of husks. It's more husks than it is tripod. Your horse recognizing that he does not have enough firepower. That is too much from the team in the south. Sparta starts another Eradicator Hexapod, builds another Warp Chasm, and is hoping that he can come through this time. Emperor's uh, Overlord's Wrath gets fired off on the right side. Starting to make some progress over there. Maybe the team in the south can make something happen. EMP lands once again. Sparta is not allowed to build an Eradicator Hexapod. Moments away, moments from birth. And no, it comes out. It actually makes it this time as the Warp Chasm is exploding around it. That Eradicator Hexapod steps out into the world and is immediately chunked down. 25% of its health gone. Tripod lines forming massively on both sides of the fight. And it is so much cash down the drain as the Eradicator Hexapod goes down. And it looks like Sir Johns is going to escape the front line. Massive EMP lands, but it is not enough as your horse still has more tripods that are awake and ready to go. A Marv is coming in. Juggernauts are here. Your horse steps forward. He gets a kill on an Eradicator Hexapod. Judge Power is here with the Overwatch of Firehawks, but it's not enough to save his Marv. So many husks on the ground. Engineers could help keep this front line moving forward. FaZe gets called in. Vertigo Bombers will not end these tripods. They swing in in big numbers. Zaneki with the fire support comes in with huge Vertigo numbers but it is not going to have an effect on those phased units. Mr. Junkie had the right idea, but he doesn't have any support for these Devastator warships. It looks like all of his supporting units may have already gone down. The left side of the map still teeming with tripods, massive armies from these Skrin players. And honestly, there isn't much of an army from the team in the south, but they have a lot of obelisks to chew through these tripods one by one and buy some time. They're going to need some EMPs. They're going to need a way to stop those tripods. Blink onto the high ground. The Eradicator Hexpod for Mr. Junkie gets saved from any pain or damage. Cyberphobic and Yusuf fighting each other 1v1 style on the right side of the map. Rage Gen fires off its Redeemer versus Redeemer. Fuel Air Bomb cleans up a ton of husks on the left side of the map. And these Vertigo Bombers are hunting deep into enemy territory looking for something as the nuke and the rift generator continue to count down minute by minute. It looks like the tripod army was deleted by a super weapon, but it's less than four minutes until the next super weapon is ready to fire off. Venoms hoping to chunk down Mr. Junkie's Eradicator Hexapod. A random harvester firing off. Catalyst missile launches and lands somewhere on the map. On the front lines, it seems. Trying to slow down the economy of Mr. Junkie, who is starting to get pushed back. His Eradicator Hexpot has taken pretty big damage, but it's still alive. Tripods versus Juggernauts. I mean, the Tripods win if it's close quarters. The Juggernauts win if they have a bit of range. Husks sniped as well. 
Good call there by your horse. Venom's right on the edge of the range of that anti-air. This mini-map just looking like a bug infestation. All of these players with massive amounts of units crossing in just about every direction. The slow base creep by Mr. Junkie. Not so slow when he teleports forward phase after the teleport to go for the Harvester Crush, to go for the Beam Cannons and the Spectres trying to shut down the artillery of Zaneki and stop him from denying that base creep. Vein detonation fires off, tripods come in, and another catalyst cannon fires off, and what is this harvester mind control there for Sir Johns? He is finding a way to make his opponent's economy work for him, it seems. Mr. Junkie backs off from the middle of the map. Spectre Artillery coming back online. Cyberphobic and Yusuf just continually locked in this 1v1. The two of them seem to be so evenly matched. Cyberphobic with an advantage early on, but Yusuf always had a bit of support from his allies. And Sparta finally decides to deploy his Warp Chasm somewhere safe, a little bit away from the front line of his opponents. And he will bring his second Eradicator Hexapod onto the map. Look at that. He finally did it. He safely brings an Eradicator Hexapod into this world. Vertigo Bombers are here. EMP lands on the Redeemer. Yusuf and Cyberphobic, if either one of them could get the win, that might give them enough momentum for their team to tip the tables in their favor. Your horse leaves the game. The GG gets called and everything gets handed over to Sparta. The left side of the map is crumbling. Sir Johns and Judge Power slowly making progress on the left side. And on the right side, it is a fully heroic Venom, which uh, may eventually go down to these bikes. But no, the EMP lands and the shots from the Spectres land as well. The Redeemer trying desperately to escape. And if the battle is won on the left side, then the battle on the right side won't matter much at all. It's a three versus four as Sparta granted new life. Oh, that commando. The commando finding the kill on so many tripods, three or four tripods all going down to this commando. And you have to hand it to Judge Power. He's going for style points, if nothing else. Taking down the anti-air like he's playing the campaign so that he can get his Firehawk support in to support this commando. And there's just nothing on the ground to stop this. Sparta is crumbling. He's hoping that he can have a comeback in another game. But for now, Judge Power is tearing him apart. Wormhole, wormhole into the back line. And that is going to be after a nuke fires off. The Eradicator Hexbot is here for revenge, but this commando just will not stop. He's gone fully heroic, and he is just blowing up a refinery power plant after one another. Sir Johns has a signal transmitter. If that gets engineer capped, that could be massive. Phase fires off, EMP on the nuke, and it looks like the Eradicator Hexpod will be able to escape. The commando is still running rampant, just crushing the front line from behind. Go for the MCV, go for the MCV, go for the MCV. GG gets called, Mr. Junkie taps out, Yusuf taps out. It's all down to Sparta fighting a massive 1v4. If he can make it work, that would be incredible. But the GG gets called and Sparta has been defeated. A 4v4 with some big super weapons firing off wraps up in just about 20 minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. I guess if you disagree with our judgment, well, it's kind of too late, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. It was a good bit of fun, and this is Cyber signing out.